Okay, so I picked up a tire gauge and the tires are in fact low. So that could be part of my problem. So I'm going to go and air, put air in them. And get that over with. Maybe gas up, I don't know. So yeah. Uh, what's it talking about? Uh, real life again. He should not talk about real life. He wants to talk about real life. So, um, what can I talk about? Um, yeah, um, well, maybe I will talk about real life, I guess, just for this vlog. If you're interested, it's kind of neat though, to, you know, let me know if you like it. I've gotten a couple of comments, um, you know, about, hey, try this idea or cool vlog, good luck. So thanks for that. Now you know who you are. And that's about it. <clears throat> so get these tires uh, figured out. And I go. So another thing about sport bikes too is that they, the engine kind of has a couple of settings. I'm going to use the word setting. It's not quite accurate, but um, so again, what do I mean? The bike, the engine will. Um, it's kind of. It has like normal mode. I'm a normal bike. You know, I'm a powerful bike, but I'm normal. And that goes on uh, for RPM, and RPM are, um, you know, revolutions per minute. You know, how many times the pistons or whatever move, uh, you know, determines your RPM. So right up to about seven to 8,000 RPMs, people say grand, about eight grand. The bike is a uh, Mr. Normal bike. It is powerful, still more powerful than a car, but it's Mr. Normal. Once it reaches 8,000 RPMs, there's a little switch that happens in the engine, and then it becomes uh, super powered. So then just moving the throttle a tiny bit produces a tremendous amount of torque. And uh, for some people, it really is quite thrilling to do, right? You're riding along, everything's normal, like click, and then boom, you're just gone. And you're pulled back in the seat. And the first time I tried it on this bike, I was actually almost pulled off the bike. I really wasn't expecting it. And, uh, you know, it was quite exhilarating. So that's another thing to keep in mind, too, is that there are almost two settings. So in the high RPM range is where they, uh, the racers on the track keep their bikes in that instant, uh, just mind-blowing speed zone. Um... So if you get one, keep that in mind. Oh, yeah. You never know, you might buy a motorcycle after watching this vlog or others. That's how I got into it. And, uh, yeah, it's really quite neat. Yeah. So sport bike riders are tend to be a bit different. They tend to be a bit lonery. Uh, as opposed to, uh, you know, the wolf pack kind of thing. Um... You never know what you're going to get when you come up to a sport bike rider. Usually a pretty enthusiastic guy. But uh, sometimes you meet guys that are just feel like they're hyped up on adrenaline and they can't wait to get on. I had a friend uh, who moved away, a uh, sport bike enthusiast, and uh, you just, whoa, he would just go crazy on them. He loved them so much, but it um, just really wasn't a healthy vehicle for the guy. The guy was really meant to be a fighter pilot. You know, I'm convinced of that because uh, he just couldn't handle the uh, the speed. You know, he just he loved it so much. <clears throat> he ended up with an R1, which is uh, it's a video of an R1, you know, beating a fighter jet on a runway on YouTube. Okay, see you in a bit.